Hey everyone and welcome back to the X-Ring. So a little bit of a different episode for you today. We are here in Greer, South Carolina at the BMW Manufacturing Facility. But before we go over there, we're here at the BMW Performance Center. So they're gonna put us in some really cool cars. You can see some really cool ones in the background. This is where every single X5 and X6 in the world is made. And there's a track back here. And so if you're purchasing a BMW or if you're or if you're a car enthusiast and you want to get some track time, they do everything from car control schools for teens to adults, M schools. So they're gonna put us in some really cool cars, really neat facility. All right, so let's check out some of this eye candy. I can tell you that right there, those are carbon fiber rotors. Flashy, flashy. This is the M4 competition check that out so this is the bmw r1250 rt it says bmw authority school so a lot of people don't realize bmw has been making motorcycles before they ever started making vehicles and this is actually pretty cool they do motorcycle programs on road and off road and this would be indicative of what a lot of police officers use All right, so we're met by Jonathan Stribble here, who's gonna take care of us today. And it's a nice facility, pretty dang impressive. And now what we're doing is we're going through some of these little cubbies where people are gonna be taking deliveries of their vehicle later. I can't take this cat anywhere. <laughs> it's about your speed. Yeah, 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 yeah. Stage it. Okay. So right now we're doing A today. Uh, we'll do two deliveries in the lobby. So these are basically brand new vehicles, customers' vehicles that they've ordered, and they'll be taking delivery of these later on today. We're getting to go behind the scenes. This is where all the magic happens. Does this look like the help desk to you? All right, guys, so we're in the classroom here. Uh, we've got Derek Leonard. Derek Leonard, you're going to be working with us today, and you've been here for how long? Uh, Ten years. Ten years. Believe it or not. And so what are your duties here? You're so, yeah, I'm, so I'm the lead driving instructor here. I do, I teach all the schools and stuff, but a lot of what I do now is just administering the staff and the track. I make sure the cars are where they need to be and the instructors are where they need to be. And uh, so I do a lot of that kind of admin stuff, yep. but I also work with our delivery program, our schools and our corporate stuff as well. Okay, so today, I guess we're gonna be in the classroom for a little bit. Yeah, I guess you'll go over some of the exercises, vehicle dynamics, and then I guess we're gonna go out and drive like M4s and M8s. Yeah, yeah, some of the best hardware BMW has to offer, right? So we'll get you guys tuned up with a little safety briefing, and then we'll head out to some private pavement with somebody else's tires, somebody else's gas. Yeah. How can you have a bad day? You can't have you can't. a bad day here. All man. right, well, man, I'm looking forward to it. Thank All you. Right. sounds good. Thank you. Eyes up, look at where you want to go. BRO driver, they get a factory tour, which is fantastic. They get to take an X5 on our off-road course, and they also get a great lunch and then two hours with a delivery specialist in their actual car. All right, look at all of this eye candy. X40i. Ladies and gentlemen, start your adrenaline. So Rick, so you're taking delivery of an M4 today. <laughs> okay, Perfect. All righty, so this will be his steed for the favorite. day. God. All right, look at all this carbon fiber. And it even, even sinks to you. All right, let's get this thing underway. Good seating position is important for good driving, right? So many people sit wrong, they got their mirrors wrong, they don't have any idea what they're doing. So I'll tell you, while we're, while we're just sitting here right here, the, the first adjustment we like to make is to the height of the base, right? So use that horizontal bar get up nice and tall, you want about four fingers between the top of your head and the roof of the car. You want to be up good and tall so you have a good line of vision over the wheel. Okay. Then 
we adjust distance from the pedals. So the way we measure that is push the brake as hard as you can with your right leg. You see how straight your right leg is? Too straight. So get closer. Make another U-turn. So if I'm going 20 and I brake as hard as I can at those red and white cones, how long is it going to take me to stop? I want you to pick a space right in here where you think the nose of my the car is going to stop. Now I'll tell you, if you're super confident in I'm your guess, right. okay, if you're really confident in your guess, you can stand over here, right? But you really got to be right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Totally don't want to do that, all right? Hey, look at you. That's a good guess. I'm going to double my speed to 40 miles an hour, pick a new spot. If this is what 20 looks like, what would 40 look like? Right. So Don't feel bad, dude. People miss it every day. Nobody ever gets it, right? Sometimes people get the 20 right, yeah. but I never have anybody standing down here for the 40. And the reason we do this demo is just because and of that. that. Was you smashed on the... Hard as possible, right? Uh. The whole point here is to understand the relationship between speed and braking distance because so many people don't understand, right? You see guys out on the interstate, look at the gap between the two cars there, right? You see people on the interstate Doing that going thing. 70 miles an hour with that kind of gap. Yeah. The fact is, if you double your speed, you have to do the square of the difference. So if you double your speed, you quadruple your braking distance. And calm down, starting speed for the first run is 35. Going down at 35. Eyes up here. Level out at 35. Wait for the cones. Not bad. Alright, Rick. This time we're going to add 5 miles an hour. Let's go 40. A little bit longer stopping distance. Everything else stays the same. 40 is your target. Don't be early. Go back to the videotape on this. Your eyes, you were looking at that cone right there. You were looking here, right? You should be looking here, exactly. That's what we want. Because we want always to have the eyes on the intended path, looking where we want to go. So get your eyes up, chin up, looking into the future, planning your future with your eyes and steering there. Don't look at the obstacles, because that's a good way to go into the obstacles, right? This, your car's well positioned, but your eyes were all wrong. That probably wouldn't work if it was your first try, right? Yeah. Good job though, man. Let's go to the next exercise. I really want to go fast, I'm going to coach you through this. What I want you to do, look right, get closer to this cone. Start to track out. That's good speed, Mind, maintain that. Quicker hands, quicker, quicker hands. Now I want you to look right. Pop, power, power, power. You're not yeah, talking. Look at him. He's like, I'm, I'm, you're right. I'm too right. busy. Add a little power. <laughs> it's not Whatever bad. You do, but your, don't your focus eyes, on that EMH that's closing up on your rear. <laughs> your eyes aren't far enough ahead. Break in a straight line. Smooth release. Get closer to the yellow. Track out blue. There it is. is now your line's getting much better. Nice. It looks like you got Rick motivated now. I just getting, gotta practice. You're getting it, bro. There you go, Rick. Pull it on through there, man. And then break hard. Oh, you were late on the brakes, so check this out. Don't Shit, we got it. this. Oh, we got oh, this. That's the look we're looking for. 
trouble angle get away from me. See, it was late on us getting towards the apex. <laughs> All I can do is laugh. I'm coming off the gas. All right, guys, so this M8 here has 617 horsepower. Raw, unadulterated power. The best of it all. Enough video, let's drive. Roger, Ray's gonna come and follow you in the M8. No, I don't like the steering wheel angle at all. It's not right for me. It's a much heavier car, isn't it? It's got a lot more power than that little thing. Yeah, no doubt about it. Pretty fun, right? Yeah, a lot of fun. Um, good. I'm glad you're having a good time. I'm glad you get it, right? If you get it, it just, it's just better for everybody, right? So let's hop in the 340. Let's get squirted. It's off. Cause this is going to tell you in about four different places. Oh yeah. DSC inactive, so DSC you off, sure DSC off. It, it is off, right? It does not ever want you to really turn it off, but uh, that's what happens. So we'll put the car in gear, put it on the brake, and head on out. You're going to follow that yellow line. Get up to about 20, 25, something like that. Yeah. Maybe think about using two hands. I don't know. <laughs> All right, here we go. So from here, level out right here. And you see, car's not so bad, right? We've got grip, we're driving the yellow line. Your eyes are looking left into the future. Now, when I tell you to floor the gas, I really want you to floor it. Okay. Like you're mad at the gas pedal, all right? Gotcha. All right, so from here, we're gonna keep going. We're holding that yellow line. We've got plenty of grip right now. Yeah, we're looking left, good speed. We'll make this pretty for the camera and pin it. Alright, not bad. So put on the brake. So let's do it again. Make a big U-turn. <laughs> You can tell it's pretty slick, right? You actually made a pretty good steering input. I mean, your steering was okay. This time, when you floor it, I want you to keep your foot in it even longer, right? Why don't you keep your foot in it longer? Hell yeah. All right. I want the full I want the full Vin Diesel. Yeah, I but I was already three. I was already going the wrong way. Right. <laughs> Here we go. And pin it hard. Keep your foot in it. Now break. Keep you coming out that way. Also, we just want to wave and stribble, right? Here we go. <laughs> you can tell it's really slick, right? That's yeah, the whole slick. point. So now oh, it's, cool. I never done it. it's a lot of fun, right? Purpose, anyway. So now we've got all the systems turned back on, right? Oh, they're on. We're going to do the same thing, okay. okay? And just feel the difference. This is the, what the whole point of this is: is to show you how nice and safe 25. the car is. Yeah. Always the steering, always looking. Go ahead and pin it. Wow! And steer. The more you steer, the louder it gets because the car is working hard. That is impressive. It's applying brakes at all four corners. Pin it, try to spin it out. Right? The car's like, nope, sorry, Rick, can't do that. And it just always goes where the steering wheel is pointed. Holy crap. That's, <laughs> that's <laughs> a I don't even want to cut, but that is a damn amazing. It is amazing, that, right? It does everything for you. It does. Right, what do you want to do now? Uh, let's see if he can drift the car. All right. So, input. so really, you're you're going to make a good initial input to the steer to get it so, to break. To break it loose, right? Yeah. And then kind of feather it like you're doing, and steer like you're 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 pretty close, actually. I think you can drift. Let's try to get you there. Um, let's try it again. Give me a little bit of gas. There's an ongoing bet on the internet. He yeah. gets two 
tries okay. to drift the oh, full he skid pad. Two tries. Two tries. Ooh, boy. He's got to maintain it so the whole way. How far the drift? The full the skid pad. Plus, I didn't, I didn't really yeah. give you a demo, right? So remember. So what you're going to do? You're going to give me a sharp stab. Whoop. Right. Okay. That breaks it loose. You're going to correctively steer to the right while coming out of the gas. So it's in, out, correct and then feather back in the throttle to keep that angle going. Where's okay? the best spot to be in the middle of the thing no. to start at? <laughs> Put your left front tire on that yellow line and drive that yellow line. All right, okay. tell me when our attempt one is going. This is attempt one. Attempt number a one. A full drift without losing the drift. Kick it. That's it. Catch it. Here you go. Go. All right. Hey, go we back. have failed miserably. <laughs> nice 360. All right. <laughs> Well, the commentary is spot on. Oh, uh, let's try it again. All right, he gets one more attempt for you guys on the <laughs> I internet. See this happening. He goes, okay, I, so can, I got this. I was an off roader. Too much input in the beginning. That was too much. Too much on the initial throttle and okay. not quick enough hands. Not quick enough hands. All right, here we go. I got you set. You got me set for. You're ready. You're manual. You're good to go. Uh, give me a little speed. Eyes left. Alright, and pop it. Hit it. What the heck? Is this a horse? <laughs> Freaking bucking the, Bronco? I'm trying to break the wheels loose without kicking. Going 100 miles an hour. There it is. Oh, we'll see ya! Alright, now it's my turn. <laughs> break, break, break. So, another thing you did wrong there, your hands, you act like your hands are taped to the wheel. You did this and you stopped when you needed more. See, I you need to like doing this, but you always bust my balls. Uh, you should, because yeah. this ain't no forklift, right? So <laughs> That's what I said. Yeah, what Derek. Keeping your talking about free or something, right? Gotta... <laughs> All right, let's switch it up. Well, All right. yeah, switch it up. we're good. good All right, it's not buddy. bad. All right, I got so you. I'm, I'll handle everything. All you got to do is wheel it. All right, your uh, Sport Plus DSC off. I'm gonna get you to manual two, which is. Okay. Where you want to be? Fancy flying shit, man. What we'll do is we'll step it around a little bit. Ooh, this one's kind of funny on the steering. Okay, so so I'm looking where I want to go. I want my eyes here, but I'm maintaining the drift. Now, just by using the throttle, I can go to the outside of the circle. I can slow it down and go back to the inside right here. But I need to look here, not there. I just want to take you here, but you don't want to do that. I think that's your full, full circle. Oh, it's old, On but his first try. On my first try. I got lucky. <laughs> now, now what I'm going to do is spin you out like you did me. <laughs> Just so you can feel in the back. All right, that's enough of me. I still got a little bit, I guess. I don't know. It's been a long time. What are you thinking about today already? I'm impressed with what that computer system can do to keep Dynamic your stability on the road. control. That is cool. A lot of people stay alive because of that and they don't I realize could see, it. I could see that. That's what he was just saying. They like, oh man, I'm really driving. But you're really yeah. not. The car is the saving car the is day, driving. right? Correct. Now keep in mind guys, we were driving with the stability control off on the skid pad. Uh, otherwise, it would not allow you to get those angles because it's going to try to correct it for you. more your speed, soccer mom. Soccer mom. Hey, Timmy, get your ass. We got a, we got, we got a game. At there you go. Keep coming. 
McDonald's not gonna help you. <laughs> I'd like to get a Diet Coke. Check this out, guys. Air conditioned and heated cup holders. So there's one on Air conditions to 38, cold. heats to 113. 113. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> Keep that Diet Coke nice and cold and keep that muffin nice and warm. All of those cars are going to be delivered to new families in the next two weeks. 503 horsepower. Alright guys, this is the infamous brand new M3 competition. You saw it here first. And I'll... seats out. We got all this carbon fiber goodness. Oh yeah. I'll try to get you a better panoramic of this. Let's go ahead and listen to this bad boy. Here we go. So check it out. Alright guys, so this is an actual delivery bay. This is a customer's vehicle. They're going to be taking delivery of this vehicle tomorrow. And like I said, it'll be sitting in this bay waiting for them. So after all of those exercises, the ABS, the handling course, the skid pad, and the off-road, they will be introduced to their new BMW. This is the X5e. Basically has electrical assist. Can drive up to 20 miles just on the electrical power alone, but that assists with your overall miles per gallon. All right, you guys wanted motorcycles. Here they are. You got the 850 GS, 850 Rally, 750s. Those are the school bikes there. So they do everything from a motor authority school to on-road, off-road. I think they even do MSF training here now. All right, guys, so we are at what they call the BMW Zentrum. This is the museum. Uh, this is on the other side of the track across from the Performance Center. Let's go take a look. Guys, I can't give enough shout out to this gentleman right here, Jonathan Stribble. He's basically uh, held our hand every step of the way today. It's, uh, it's been a great experience. How long have you been with BMW? Uh, 20 years now. 20 years. <laughs> Not bad at the wheel either. Thank you. Oh, yeah. I've actually yeah, been in this car. I should have drove this one. Actually, you and I have been in this car. <laughs> Z8. This was the James Bond car. The old Z1, 1989. Had the doors that slid down into the body itself. Oh, and then who can forget the M3, 1986, classic. Nineteen thirty. 
All right, so here at BMW, this was actually the first car that came off the assembly line. It was the 318. You guys can see all the signatures there. Pretty cool history. This is the i8. Of course, the i3, the roller skate. <laughs> yeah, it's a roller skate. Look how skinny those tires are. The rubber bands. I have actually been in this car, guys, and driven it on the track. All right, guys, big shout out to <laughs> Derek Leonard, Jonathan Stribble, Rick, what do you say? Amazing. It was fun. Tons yeah, fun, big right? shout out to BMW for allowing this to happen and deliveries um, to show us what this experience is it. about. Uh, just remember, they run pretty much every day of the year, everything from car schools to motorcycle schools, you know, the M schools, teen schools. So check them out. Come What's out the best enjoy. place for them to check it online? Uh, it's BMWPerformanceCenter.com. All right, guys, BMWPerformanceCenter.com. Check on the schedule. Schedule your day out here. Talk to you soon. Have a good one. Like, share, and subscribe. Yeah.